Open sesame! Well, I've done all I can do. Okay, welcome back guys to another video. And today I'm going to be telling you a story of how I almost got arrested. So before this video starts, can we get 10 likes and let's get started into it. So this happened like almost a week ago where I was over at my friend's house and we were go about to go to a skate park in about like an hour and so and <clears throat> me and my best friend were playing Black Ops 3 because we got bored. So then after that, uh, we started playing and stuff and I started winning because if you haven't known already, I'm actually a really good uh, person at first person shooters and so I was winning and the score was like 21 to 10. So then after that, uh, Spaxson's mom asked us if um, we wanted breakfast. So we both said yeah. So then um, after that, she took us to the skate park, but then uh, I asked, before that, I asked uh, him, where does my friend Josh live? Because maybe we can bring him over. And uh, he told me where he lived at, and it wasn't even far. It was like seven houses away. So when we got to his house, I rang his doorbell, and he was like in his towel. So like, I think he just took a shower or something. Uh, I don't know, and then, um, he went to go get dressed, which took about five minutes, and then, after that, he went to go call his mom to see if he could come over, and she said yeah, so then Josh came along with us to the skate park, and the skate park took about, <clears throat> I don't know, 30 minutes or so, so then, while we were driving, we, of course, we were making fun of, uh, Kylan, and like making jokes and stuff and after that when we arrived she said oh make sure whatever happens don't leave the skate park so both nodded her head yes and when she left us art by ourselves for some reason i don't know but then um after that the skate park was like locked and then i was like what it's locked so we basically just wasted our time but then, uh, Josh went, was like, oh, dude, um, we can, like, climb over. And I was like, no, dude, that's crazy. So then he started climbing over, and I was like, dude, we're gonna get caught, and we're gonna go to prison. And he was like, dude, stop being such a baby. And I was like, but I don't want to get in trouble. So we started climbing the fence, and, he, like, he did it, like, in less than about 15 seconds. And we, like, the gate thing was like pretty high up and so then Sebastian started climbing it and I was like come on dude climb up and then I was like uh, I'm not really sure about this because I don't want to get caught and then he actually convinced me to start climbing up the gate and when I did uh, I literally almost fell on my face and um that was really scary and when I was like climbing over it, like when I was about to jump off, it was like pretty high up in. I don't like heights. So when we were in uh, the skate park, I started uh, taking up my skateboard and along with some actions and we started riding. And there was like, I looked down, there was like this deep uh, skate thing where you go down and it's like really up. So uh, after that, um, me and Josh started running down the, uh, the ramp, and then we tried to jump up to get to the ledge, and then, uh, I, we were so close, and then we slid down, and then I started running again, and then I jumped up, and I almost made it, well, I was gonna make it, but I was just too tired, so I just let go, and, uh, then, after that, Josh tried it again and he made it up there and he started chilling like sitting down and The skate park actually looked like it was used to be a pool Probably it was I don't know so then um 
So, I rung my skateboard, like, where two little ramp was where Josh was at. So, I, uh, was, like, laying down, like, you know, the, um, the coffin from Skate Theory? Yeah, I was, like, sitting on it, and we were, like, I was, like, laying down, but, like, fa like facing forward so I can know where I was going and stuff. So, I started sliding down, and it was, like, pretty scary, and, like, I felt like I was, like, literally gonna fall, but I actually managed to handle it, and, yeah, so then, um, so I went to go down, like, a little, like, smaller ramp, and then when I was about to get up, uh, I was going a little bit too fast, so I, uh, stopped it with my hand, and I scraped up my, uh, finger, my pointer finger, and it has, like, a little scar on it, and it's still there right now as I'm recording this, but, uh, it's healing, though, and I was, like, bleeding. I can actually show you some videos that, uh, me, Sebastian, and Josh took, but that's gonna be in the end of the video, so, yeah, so then, um, me and, uh, Josh saw someone, like, at the bus stop, I don't know, it wasn't really a bus stop, but they are like, just standing there in a the pole, it wasn't facing where we were and stuff, so, yeah, so then when we looked to the right, we saw, like, a water bottle, and it was, like, we were really thirsty and stuff, so we started pouring water in our mouths, uh, and then... After that, we started doing a little bit more, uh, skateboarding. Um, I actually did an ollie, because I'm really new to skateboarding. And I just found my skateboard, like, not too long ago. It was, like, lost in my garage and stuff. So, when we were doing it, Sebastian taught me how to, like, flip the skateboard like a 360 and land it so i actually did it and i can also send you some uh videos of me at sebastian's house and me doing trick shots and stuff it's pretty fun so then uh we looked through the gates and we saw these like i don't know high schoolers uh no racial though seriously no racial but they were all black but, uh, they saw us, like, in the skate park, and they are like, hey, you, uh, kids, we're gonna tell on you. And I was, like, really scared, because I was like, man, I should've never done this. But then, um, we started to climb out and stuff, and they said, ooh, he getting out. And we were getting, like, very, very scared. I started sweating, and then when I hopped down, Cause it took me like a, uh, about like 30, no, about like two minutes to get over and down from the, uh, gate. Cause it was, um, I don't like heights and stuff. And then, um, yeah, they said they were going to tell on us. And when Josh and Sebastian came down with me, uh, we were like very scared and stuff. And we were like, why are you guys going to tell on us? And then he was like. Oh, we're just joking. We're not going to tell on you. And because I was, like, really scared. And I was like, I don't want to get in trouble. So a few seconds later, uh, we started, like, talking and stuff. And then uh, Sebastian said, All right, so we're cool? And then uh, they said, yeah. So then um, they was like, why are you guys out here? And then um, we said, because we're going to hang out at the skate park. But then, uh, exactly when she said, um, where are your parents at? Oh, that's messed up. Your parents don't even love you. And then, uh, exactly when she just finished the sentence, uh, Sebastian's mom just came and, like, randomly and stuff. So then, uh, we ran to her. And then I told her that, uh, can we go now? And then, uh, along with Josh and Sebastian, but then, uh, they started changing their minds and said, well, actually, let's stay, uh, for 30 more minutes. So then, after that, 
they went back to the skate park, but uh, I was just staying there with the mom, and I was like, I don't really want to go back there and stuff. So then, after I waited, I went to where the like next to the gate and stuff. I like, went and there was like a water fountain there. So then, the one of those guys from like the high schooler guys, uh, came over here, like right next to me, and it was like. Uh, I'm gonna go j hop this fence, and then he was wearing Crocs on, and the other guy was like, dude, you're gonna freaking break your legs, and he climbed up where the rocks were, like when he jumped down, there were like rocks, he was like gonna break his legs, and it was gonna be pretty funny, f cause if he did, it would be like, my leg, from Spongebob and stuff, so then, um, when he jumped off, he almost broke his leg, but... Sadly, he didn't. I know that's messed up, but uh, that I don't care. But then, um, after that, like about fifteen minutes later, like people from the school, cause like yeah, we're like behind the school and stuff, and the skate park was there. So people um saw us, and then they were like so confused, and then he yelled out, "Hey boys, get out the skate park now!" But at the time when he yelled that, I wasn't in the skate park. I was just, like, outside of the skate park. And I was just watching them skateboard and stuff. And I was, like, very scared and stuff. So they started climbing over and stuff. And they threw the uh, skateboard stuff over the fence. And then um, I went to the mom. Because, like, the mom was, like, still waiting and stuff. And then she came out of the car. And then she was, like what happened and then uh Swag snake explained everything to the guy who yelled out to us and he was like oh so why are you guys back there so then Swag snake was like uh because we wanted to go to the skate park and then the other guy asked how long were you guys in there and the funniest part about that is that he lied about it he was like because because the guy asked him how long he has been in there and out of all the possible numbers, he said five minutes. And, and it was kind of hard not to make a laugh because it was not even sure. And because we've been in there for like about two hours and so. And it was just so funny. So then the guy was like, um, okay. He actually believed us. And then, um, Sebastian's mom came over and she asked what, what happened. And then... The guy explained it, and she was she just had a surprise face. And then after when she, we left, uh, she wasn't even mad, and I was really surprised about that because my mom will kill me. And so then after that, we went to subways. So the lesson you learned today, kids, is to not be stupid, make wise choices, and of course, don't be like me. So I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoy as always, and bye. This is PT Films, uh, and we are in the skate part, and we like be snuck in, as you can see, and if you, if someone right there, and oh, dude, he's, he's about to turn, Josh. I don't care. Yes, you do. I don't care. I'm savage. Dude, he, he went over the uh, the uh, the fence. Bruh, sketch. Sketchers. <laughs> Let me try. Carlos, what do you think of this experiment? This is not a good idea because I see there's like people over there playing basketball. My call yeah, exactly. Awesome. Wait, what do you think of this experiment, Josh? YOLO. Yeah, yeah. I think of this experiment as... Okay, I guess. Wait, wait, Carlos, we gotta see the... I gotta see my the skateboard for a second. I wanna test them. If your fidget spinner broke, you can just add Use a pencil. pencil. For, yeah, add a pencil <laughs> for it. And then uh, just spin it. Wanna do the honors? Yes, sir. It's got you. <laughs> if, if you have to work in fidget spinners, then I don't know what to tell you what it works. Yeah, yeah, it has nothing. This is like water. <laughs> <laughs> That's my old one. It's, like, it's like a flower, like a lollipop. <laughs> <Kind of>. <laughs> <laughs> I like the bearings on this one. I know. It's cool.
thing to blow up our story. Let's see, Bianchi and Teals. Oh, I have an idea. Yeah. Gotta push it in hard, though. Pause. That sounded wrong. Pause. My boy. That hurt. Look, she's smoking a cigar. Oh, what the heck? I'm gonna play Plubby Punch. Wait, that, that's it.